So Lucy Punch, starring in uh, You Will Meet a Tall, Dark Stranger. Stranger yes. Right. Woody Allen's uh, film this year at Cannes. As I said before, a name you may not recognize right now, but I predict by, what is it, by December you will, right? We've got um, Jay Roach's film coming out, Dinner with Schmucks, this yeah. summer. And uh, this is slated for the fall. Yes. All right. Screening last night when you came on yeah. uh, screen and you were in it. I know everyone I worries. Seen it I know yet. everyone worries. No one's seen it, by the way, because no I talked just to Josh. First people. Yeah. Okay. And uh, everyone's always afraid they're going to end up. Was he nervous as well? Yeah, he was. Because I feel like I'm like talking. I've been talking about it all day, and I'm like, I haven't seen it, yeah. so I know what I remember. Well, I, as. Think, I think the fear with Woody Allen is you never know if you're actually going to be in it or not. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So I can say you're in it. Okay, Pew. <laughs> Not only are you in it, but when you come on, the audience around me, people are like, who's that? Who's that? Everyone kind of had a moment, and I wanted oh, to kind of go, that's Lucy Punch. Oh. Anyway, it was great. I'm like, who is that ridiculously yeah. tacky, <laughs> fake tan It's kind of great. What about all your creature? stuff with, um, I mean, how is that to work with Anthony Hopkins? Come on. Sex scenes with Anthony Hopkins? You can't. Well, they weren't quite sex scenes. Yeah. But some smooching, some smooching yeah, with Anthony was Hopkins. Good. I was, I'm, I was, I still am a huge fan of um, Anthony, and uh, yeah, it was. I was obviously quite intimidated initially, but he's so nice. Yeah. And um, so it was just, it was fun. Yeah, the costumes yes. were great too. I, I mean, all the fur. Yeah, and the... I'm in a lot of fur. And every, all this morning we've been doing interviews, and everyone's like, "Oh, you look so different because I've got like." The fake tan and the fake nails and the fake hair and I've got a, so much stuff stuff a lot of stuff in yeah. my bra. Yeah. It, I was, I didn't You're recognize her. it and shoes like this. So I look like a completely different person. Right. Now why don't you tell me about uh, a little bit about getting this part because it's a great story and it just Woody Allen is notorious in his casting, where you just kind of either get a phone call or you're told to show up. Yeah. And in this particular part, I know Nicole Kidman, as it was when I first heard about it, you're like, oh, this actress, she's replacing Nicole Kidman, which is kind of amazing. Right there, just that sentence. Yes, right? absolutely, yeah. Um, so tell me about, like, auditioning a little bit for Woody. Well, I auditioned, and, I was spo and he liked what I did, and I was supposed to go to New York and meet him, and I booked my ticket, and I... I never expected to get the part, but I just was like, oh, I'm going to be able to meet Woody Allen, and it would be a good story. And then I got a call saying, cancel your ticket. He's cast this big movie star. And then I found out I was obviously pretty disappointed, and I found out it was Nicole Kidman, and I was, fair enough. Right. I would choose Nicole. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd choose Nicole Kidman over me. But um, And then when she dropped out, I then auditioned and auditioned. And, Is it um, on tape? Are you sending on, tape? Yeah, I never met him, but because uh, I think he usually casts, you know, well-known, you know, wonderful actors who have a whole body of work that he can reference and go, oh, that person would be perfect for this part. But that wasn't the case with me. So um, I, I auditioned a lot. I did a lot of the scenes for him and I, I spoke to him on the phone before my final audition and he gave me some notes and I went dressed as the character. So, um, yeah. How I much went money did you drop uh, buying those clothes? Oh, Ten dollars. You... Yeah. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> And it, I look pretty cheap. Yeah, good. I went, I was like, as I was walking into the audition, I'd like been up for hours doing this crazy makeup and stuffing the bra. And I got, I was walking in, and there's like these guys in this um, lorry were like, mm. oh yeah, and like yeah. honking the horn, like hey. I was like, okay, I look perfect. I'm appealing yeah. to the right type of someone who I'm usually invisible to. It's right. suddenly like, oh my god. Um, so uh, yeah, the look helped. I think I've never met. Woody or spend time with him looking like myself. So, um, well, so the, the first time you met him then was when you showed up for the job? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And it was in a, a makeup wardrobe test, so I was all done up. And I Did he recognize you now? Have you seen him I yet? I haven't seen him yet. Oh, you'll see. Yeah. Well, hopefully he'll I recognize haven't seen, you. Yes. Oh, <laughs> just walk past me and go, hi. Yeah. Um, all right, let's talk about Jay Roach's film, Jennifer yes. Schmucks. Okay, that comes out, this big movie coming out this summer, right? Yep. July. Um, tell me about that. That is a remake of a French movie called of the Le, Le Dinner des Temps. And in that... Idiot's Dinner, right? Idiot's yeah, yeah. Dinner. And in that, I'm playing um, Paul Rudd's 
crazy lunatic sex maniac stalker. Nice. That was another fun part. <laughs> That's a great description. Did it say that in the notes when you... No, but that is what yes. she is. She's psychotic and crazed. And um, so that was incredible. And that was a totally different type of comedy. It was sort of this big, high concept, um, it, it, slightly broader. And, um, but, but like Woody, it's great because uh, Jay let us do lots of improvising. And um, Steve Carell is phenomenal. Um, and hysterical, and uh, so it was. That was a that was a really really fun job. Yeah, I can't wait for that movie to come yeah. out. It'll be great. And this obviously is your first time in Cannes. Yes. Now, did you ever when you you grew up in in, in England, yes. right? Did you ever come in, on holiday no, here? No, never. This right. is yeah. It's so it's amazing, all new. Right? It's wonderful. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. And uh, yeah. You just got here, right? I got here yesterday. Um, I came in from New York, and um, I haven't seen that much yet. There's all these. Crowds and oh, wait people. For the, wait, wait. When, when is the premiere? Of the On movie? tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Do yeah. you have a dress? Of course. Yeah. Oh, hello. Very of course. Fancy. I prepared. <laughs> yeah. I um, very very yes, fancy. Yes. I was warned, and um, so I've got a dress. I'm trying not to eat too much foie yeah. gras, so I can t- right. zip French, it up tomorrow. French women don't get fat. What's that about French women don't French get women fat? Don't, yeah. All I've been doing is eating, is eating. bread. I have been trying very... As soon as it's over tomorrow, I'll, like, undo the zip yeah. and sh- shove some Start croissants eating. down my throat. Um, so you're living in L.A. now, right? Yeah. Yes. You're here full-time. We get you in um, Los I've, Angeles. Yeah, I've been there about three, four years. So, uh, yeah. And still not any tan. What 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 sunscreen do you use? About like 80? 480. Yeah. Um, and I've, I'm just very, very pale person. So for the... For the um, Woody movie. I just they. It was fake tan and make. I probably still to you look pale, but mm-hmm. to me I was browner than I've ever been. Yeah. I was kind of going for this color of yeah. the table. I wanted to get mahogany orangey. Yeah. It had a little hint Spark- of orange, which is yeah. perfect for the for the movie. But um, slightly streaky. Yeah. Um, well. Well, it's great. I'm glad I got you yes, and all you this too. insanity. Yeah. Thanks for sitting down, and of we'll course. see you back in L.A., and I can't wait for the movies. 